Hello and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys regarding Call of Duty Black Ops 3, talking to you guys about a pretty big weapon patch update as well as a brand new update in regards to the score streak. So uh, a patch came out a few days ago and a lot of you guys have been requesting me to do an update video. So uh, they've introduced some new updates regarding the weapons as well as the score streaks. And I thought, why not you know break it down for you uh, if you know if you were curious. So first things first, chaps. What do we have here? Well, let's talk about the weapons, right? So uh, you know, from the history, right? From exper past experience, Treyarch have always done a great job in you know patching weapons, patching score streaks, etc., and obviously patching glitches. And, uh, you know, it's nice to see that, you know, we are over a month into the game now and they are, you know, still adding improvements, you know, especially for competitive and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. So regarding weapons, right, so the CUDA, so the CUDA has been, has been increased, which has been nerfed. So uh, to, you have the now ability to control the recoil at a better rate. So you now basically have a little bit more grip, technically, and the ability to control the recoil has been increased, which is very nice indeed. Now, regarding the VMP, now the VMP was one of my favorite submachine guns, and uh, the time has been increased when aiming down sights, and the hip fire spread has been increased yet again. So they were patched in the last patch, but yet again they're patching it again, which may gives me a few concerns because the VMP for me personally is a fantastic weapon, and you know they're nerfing this gun and they are buffing other weapons to try and make it balanced where I think instead they should just like buff the other weapons because I think personally the VMP is like a very good weapon indeed and let me know in the comments down below guys you know what are your thoughts about the VMP being nerfed yet again now the Weevil they've increased ability just like the CUDA so you can be able to control the recoil which is very nice um, the Weevil is very like the VMP that like the, the Weevil is you know a definitely a fast fire rate weapon uh, it does the job. I thoroughly enjoyed it in the beta, and it's nice to see that they are like uh, you know buffing it, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Vespa they've reduced the lethal range, which I mean yet again the Vespa was a very good uh, submachine gun. Now the Razorback they are uh, you know helping it out a bit, so they've increased the ability to control the recoil, like just like the Cuda as well as the Weevil, and they've also increased the lethal range on the Razorback itself. Now, if you remember, in my previous video for Black Ops 3, there was a, in the beta, right, for it, they, they nerfed the Razorback quite a bit. And it was kind of strange, but they did. So, you know, it's nice to see that they're now, like, going back on themselves and saying, hey, guys, the Razorback was actually pretty good. Maybe the other guns in the beta just need a little buff. So that's pretty cool. Uh, moving on to the assault rifles. So, the KN44 has uh, been increased for the ability to control the recoil. Very, very similar to the SMGs. The XR2, the movement speed has been reduced, so that's a small little nerf there. The HVK30, uh, yet again, uh, increased ability to control the recoil. The ICR1 has, yet again, like I said, you know, many of these weapons have been improved, you know, to try and make them similar. So instead of nerfing other weapons, they've uh, sort of slightly buffing them to make them more playable, more usable in the game. Uh, they've increased the control of the recoil. Uh, the hit fire spread has been reduced, which is good. And they've also fixed an issue when the reload animation when a certain magazine was equipped. So that's been fixed. Uh, Man of War, they've increased the ability to control the recoil. Very nice. And the M8A7 has had a very slight nerf. The fire rate has been reduced. So the fire rate got increased last light patch, and now it's been reduced. So I don't know how much it's been reduced, but they've just told us it has been reduced. Uh, shotguns, the KMR-262, uh, they've removed a free hit kill, so it's now guaranteed at two hits. So it doesn't tell me what range it is, but apparently it's now guaranteed a two hit kill if you use the KMR-262 shotgun. Now the 205 Breachy, the, the lethal range has been increased. The Haymaker-12, uh, the lethal range has been increased. The light machine guns, the old classic Dingo, which uh, TP thoroughly enjoys. The movement speed has been increased, which is a nice little buff. And the increased ability to control recoil, a nice little buff. The 48 dredge, the fire rate has been reduced, so that's a slight nerf there. Moving on to the pistols, we have the MR6, the movement speed has been increased. Uh, the RK5, the movement speed has been increased, as well as the lethal range being reduced. So that's a bit of a 50-50 buff slash nerf. Now, the Elkar 9, which is um, a pretty decent pistol, 
The movement speed has been increased. Uh, they've reduced the damage, however. And they've also reduced the lethal range. And the hit fire spread has been increased. So it's had one little buff. However, three nerfs. So I'm not too sure what to feel about that. Now, moving on to the score streaks, which is the first patch talking about score streaks. So the HDXD, the explosive damage has been increased. And just before we do get into, like, into any more score streaks, you know that the score streaks in Black Ops 3 have been under par. We have to admit, I mean, the score streaks were good. However, they weren't the best, especially, you know, after waiting and, you know, getting those score points. It wasn't really rewardable. Uh, moving on now to the dart. So the dart has uh, been increased for the explosive damage on collisions, explosions. Uh, handling tuning's been changed. The minimum speed has been reduced. And they fixed an issue where the dart was not locking onto enemies. Now the talent, no, I really like the talent. So the AI control damage has been increased, which is good. So with the talent, I would never ever allow the AI to control it. The reason for that is, is that the talent was useless. Now it's actually, maybe it's usable. So that's pretty cool. The mothership. Now, uh, you know, the mothership was a pretty strong kill streak, and a lot of people wanted it to be like, you know, buffed a bit. So they've increased the number of missiles required to destroy by two. So now it takes two to take it down. The owner of the turret explosion has been increased, and the rocket turret has been, you know, has, has been increased. The speed has. So that's pretty cool. The hellstorm. Finally. The Hellstone wasn't really that great. Uh, the cluster bomb explosive damage range has been increased, which is very nice. Uh, rolling thunder. So the explosive radius per drone has increased. The damage per drone has increased. They've added four pairs of drones, and the health per drone has increased. The rolling thunder now should be pretty decent. The now Siberius, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, the missiles have been increased by destroy by one. Uh, the EMP grenades to destroy has been increased by one. Uh, the G.I. unit uh, has been increased by... Uh, has increased the number of war machines it hits to require to destroy. Uh, they've slightly increased they've they've slightly increased the duration, which is nice. And they've also slightly de decreased the time stunned when hit by EMP. UAV the increased base health. So uh, UAVs were getting taken down far too quickly, but they now improve that. Uh, counter UAV yet again they've increased the base health. The wraith the you know they've increased the base health, and they've also fixed an issue where the flak drone would not intercept incoming missiles. The Raps, which is one of my favorite kill streaks, they've increased the number of missiles required to destroy a deploy strip by one, uh, increased health by drone, and they've also the explosive damage has been increased. Finally, the lightning strike has been re has reduced the time between target selection and payload delivery. So, in the score streaks, there has been a lot of buffs, and I don't think there was any nerfs, which is pretty cool. And regarding the weapon updates, it was like a 50-50. Some weapons got buffed, some weapons got nerfed, and it was all over the place. But there we have it. That was one of the biggest Call of Duty Black Ops 3 patch update. If you guys do enjoy the video, then make sure you do give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below and all that wonderful jazz. But as always, I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Adios, chaps. Boom.